what's happening everybody welcome back to take a look at another beer tonight i'm taking a look at one of my local breweries here this is from ryan geist brewing this is their andromeda which is a pale ale comes in at 5.7 percent abv 48 ibu this is actually one of my glasses for my glass collection so a pint glass here got this at uh I forgot where I got this from. It might have been one of the pint nights or when I was talking with one of the distributors might have provided that to me as well. But anyway, I don't really use these glasses, so I'm going to actually use the glass here just because I usually keep those behind me in the bookcase, which you really can't see because the glass is blocking you where I have my glass collection. Um, but I like to, uh, I'm going to start showing some of the glassware, I think, in the videos when I'm drinking some of the beers. And that way you can kind of check out some of the logos and the glasses I have. Let's get this baby open and get it into a glass. See what it has to offer. So I'm going to let this settle for a second. Here on the back is some information about the beer as well. That way if you wanted to pause it and check that out. That's some stuff there. They also have the write-up on the website. Taking a look at the beer though. Came out with pretty much a three finger head. You can slide this over here. And you can kind of see a nice amber color on the beer. You do have some clarity. You have a little bit of cloudiness in there. But there is a lot of carbonation taking place. I'm not sure if you're picking up all the bubble action. Looks like that is coming through somewhat in the camera. The head itself. This is pretty much a nice white head. Some good foaminess there. The haze on here is really more of a chill haze. But I get it light behind it, and I really do pick up a lot of lively carbonation taking place. As far as the aroma, you get some nice whiffs of citrus and tropical. You're getting some stuff in there like an orange. You're getting a little bit of like a peach, grapefruit. It also has a little bit of a muskiness that I pick up on some of the pale ales. You're getting a little bit of that resinous type quality as well from the hops. As far as the taste... Good amount of bitterness. You definitely feel a little bit of the throat scraping as the beer goes down, but it does have a nice refreshing quality to it. It does open up nicely in the mouth there, picking up some nice flavors as well, including some of that quality you expect to get with a uh, pale ale like this. I'm getting a little bit of that um, pininess in there. I'm getting a little bit of a grassiness in there. Getting a little bit of that fruitiness, kind of that grapefruit kicks over into flavor going down the back of the throat getting a throat scratching i feel a big amount of carbonation uh hit the chest but it's not over carbonated in any way a nice beer you can kind of sit back with here getting a little bit of lacing starting to take place but not really but the uh the head is hanging in there a little bit it's not breaking down too fast at all and it is leaving some nice foaminess there as well a little bit of a sting to the tip of the tongue. I can now pick up a little bit more of that maltiness in there. A little bit of kind of that uh, caramel type feel that you get from some of the malts once in a while. A little bit of that orange. But yeah, you're going to definitely feel the bitterness in here. 48 IBU. But a decent uh, pale ale. Doesn't really stand out as much, but it's definitely one that if someone handed it to you and you're a pale ale fan, you can actually sit there and enjoy um, going down pretty easy for me. I definitely think it's uh, worth checking out if you are a Pale Ale fan. If you're in the Cincinnati area, again, this is Andromeda from Rheingeist. Now, they have extended their distribution out. I think they're in parts of maybe Tennessee now. Um, obviously, they're making their way up more uh, central and north Ohio. I think they might be in Indiana as well. And, of course, when I'm in Kentucky, I get them. If you're around this area, you already know of them. If you're close to this area, you might be starting to hear about them now. But uh, a decent one to check out. Most of their beers, I would say, are more geared to some of the IPA type beers uh, or the American Pale Ale type beers. They do carry a lot of bitterness in their stuff. They do make a good porter uh, called Panther. And they have some other things that are kind of offshoots with some cider and some other things, some sours. But their main thing really is a lot of the uh, Pale Ales and variants of that. But this one here, well worth checking out. I am getting a little bit of duration of the flavor in there. It's not going to really knock you back. But um, for a decent pale ale, it definitely does a good job along those lines. So if you happen to see it, you know, maybe check it out. 
If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, again, this is the Ryan Geist Andromeda Pale Ale. That all being said, thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And uh, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.